Thank you. Well, wow. Uh, I'm honored. At the Moritz House, we like to listen to what's going on out in the outside world, as it were. We, we were interested in what our visitors think, what people are thinking about. And it was kind of obvious that everybody was taking selfies. We got a lot of questions. Can I take a selfie in the museum? And by the way, yes, you can. And so we thought, actually, this is a very interesting link to make because it brings out both the similarities, but also, very crucially, the differences between a selfie and a 17th century self-portrait. Uh, a lot of artists in the 17th century painted self-portraits, not only as portraits of, of themselves, but also as an example of, of the beautiful art that they could make. For instance, Rembrandt was very famous for his, his very virtuose, sketchy way of painting. And um, he, if you would buy a, a self-portrait by Rembrandt, you would not only have a portrait of this famous artist, but also an example of what he could do, what he was famous for, his, his art. So behind me is this fantastic self-portrait by someone named Fusco. He's not a household name. He didn't produce very much. We had this, uh, this uh, painting in our collection. It normally hangs in the gallery Prince William V, which is part of the Moritz House. And we took it down for the show, and we realized how phenomenally great it is. And what he does is he, you can see that he's looking very hard at himself in a mirror. You can see that very concentrated look at one point. And he brings out all these little details, like his, his beard or the little embroidery on his shirt, um, even a kind of fake wood paneled wall behind him. So he's thought very hard about the textures and the things that make him who he is. At the same time, you can see the skill with which he painted this, and this will have definitely been a very good advertisement for what he could do. This is a painting by the painter from Leiden, David Bailly. And what is interesting is to realize that when he painted this work, he was uh, 67 years old. But what he did is that he portrayed himself as a young man at a table full of still life elements that refer to the arts and, and to the transients of life, for instance. He holds up a, another portrait by, by himself when he was about 50, one would uh, th think. So what he shows is that, that art conquers nature, conquers death, and that he could portray himself as a beautiful young man while he was 67. Thank you. 